attention in my code. <laughs> my name is Una and my name is Soa. <laughs> we're software developers and in today's video we're just going to be talking about getting into software, some advice for if you want to get into software, if you're going to study computer science at university and the trials and tribulations of it all. And how to do it better than we do. But yeah, you need, to, yeah <laughs> you need to do a better job than we do. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned. Okay. So, <laughs> so how did you start coding? Um, okay, so I was in grade nine mm -hmm. and then my school had like this um, trial IT class where they were trying to basically recruit people to join the IT class. And then we had this program we had to code, it was in Delphi, for those of you that still remember Delphi. And then it was literally probably four lines where to create a button that made the screen blue or green, I forgot. And I just remember the feeling when I ran the, the program and I pressed the button, the screen had changed color and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> genius. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I think since then um, I've been hooked like yeah I've just been hooked to programming yeah how about you um I started programming in high school too I chose coding by accident and then it turns out I actually had done a bit of reading about coding and I just didn't know what was called and then we started with this little hocha program and you had to like move it around and it would draw a tree eventually you thought it was like a square <laughs> and then eventually it moved to a tree and I was like super proud of myself and yeah I think yeah that's when I started programming and what do you love the most about programming? I love uh, being able to build stuff I think that's what we all love about programming is that we're able to develop ideas but for me, it's like giving something instructions and then it does it exactly the way you want it. For me, it's, like, it's really nice being able yeah. to do that. Yeah. I mean, I relate because I think the reason why, although programming is very hard, the reason yeah. why I'm still into it so many years later is because you literally build something out of nothing. And yeah. it is the best feeling when you write it. <laughs> and you're like, I built something out of nothing. So, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. addictive. It's, it's addictive. addictive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How do we meet? How did we meet? So how did we meet? We, we met in university. We met in Rays. Yes, yes. But I think the first time I saw you was Kamsai. Yeah, yeah, that's when you're like, oh, I see you, see you. Yeah, like, and Rays was like, like about 400 girls. We were all you and we just like sort of saw things. We were all confused. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, we were in the same class, and I was friends with like a lot of your friends too. So yeah, I was friends with Kanya, and I was friends with Kanye. And then we became friends. friends. Yeah. And I think also the thing about computer science is that there's not that many females in it. So I think at the you end, just like you end up knowing like, all the females <laughs> in your class together. <laughs> <laughs> On how to so survive so university. <laughs> Doing computer science, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think the first tip that I would give is that don't be isolated. Yeah. Try to find a group of people, preferably girls, even if you feel comfortable. Could be guys as well. Yeah, just, just find your circle. Find your circle and stick to them because those people will help you like decipher anything. Yeah. Coming like assignments class tests, study yeah. groups, whatever. You so have to pull a sleepless night. Doing it with a group of people is much better than doing it by yourself. What I really battled with in university was imposter syndrome. I always felt like I wasn't really smart enough. Like I always felt I had to ask for help. And when people would explain to me, I wouldn't understand what they were saying. And they were like, just trying to give like a low level like version of it and i think what helped me deal with it was also realizing that a lot of people were struggling so i was particularly in a group of people who were incredibly smart and i always felt like i wasn't that smart but then i realized that i was actually doing quite well maybe not as well as the best person in the class but i was still doing quite well and also just taking things at your own pace so i am like i found that i was much slower so i needed to start work early like when assignments came out i had to do them immediately Whereas other people can start assignments like the night before, they just do it and they hand in and they get a hundred. Tinaba and you started <laughs> a while ago. <laughs> and you get out with my daughter's score, but it's fine. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. yeah. I think what also helped me a lot is I would never do assignments like at home. 
Because I yeah. mean, with computer yes. science, you have the option of not even coming, coming to, to the lectures. lectures. You can literally do anything on your own, mm-hmm. at your own laptop. But I felt like being in the labs where everyone is struggling with the same assignment or the same yeah. test coming up, and then you can actually like discuss and maybe get help on where you all of you are pretty much are getting stuck together. Yeah. So I think a tip is as intimidating as it might be to be in a space where you feel like everyone around you might be a step ahead of you with the assignment or whatever, just get over that fear, get over the intimidation and just be in a space where you can actively ask or even eavesdrop and just hear what they're doing and just code it essentially. So yeah. that helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. So just like yeah, that helps being around people. Honestly, you should not code by yourself. Don't do it. Unless you're like really sure. Maybe you're the person we need in the labs to help us. <laughs> we <laughs> need come you. to the labs and help us. <laughs> um, another tip that I would give is that um, find a good tutor that you feel like you can open up to interest and then ask them questions that might relate to your assignments or whatever course work you're doing currently because yeah. tutors obviously have been through the course that you're doing currently yeah. so they're more likely to understand your confusion because they had the same confusion yeah. and they're a bit closer to your level than a lecturer yeah. so find a good tutor build a relationship and like bug them with all your questions yeah. if you have problems yeah. yeah it's like having a friend in the grade above you it's just like it helps because who is smart that person they passed. they passed and they got to be a tutor <laughs> So you need to like find that person and maybe bring them chocolate. That was a tutor. I would appreciate a chocolate. She was my tutor. <laughs> yes. She was my tutor. She never got me chocolates. <laughs> I think I've cooked for you. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I think to this day, I think what I discovered in honors, which I wish I had done earlier, is talking to lecturers. Like, I think my first time to, to, like, coming to a lecture and being, like, I think it was Tommy and it was, like, um, neural something, something. It was very mathematical. I hadn't done math. I was struggling. And I was, like, Tommy, bro, it's not adding up. <laughs> and he actually, he set me down and he was so helpful to me. And I was, like, I should have been doing this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I should have just going to lecturers, asking for help, booking time with them to ask for help. It, like, it, they actually will help you. They're actually not that scary. Yeah. I think once, they, once you get over the initial fear. Yeah, yeah. 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 In lecturers, sometimes they seem very intimidating, but they're actually just, they're human beings. They're human beings. They're nice. So don't be scared to approach your lecturer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then another tip I think I would add, especially for computer science. Yeah. Is textbooks are not really that necessary? Yeah, they are. Okay, for, there for, is, they, <laughs> for theoretical purposes, as they report, get a textbook. But practical, actually, there's so many online resources that yeah. can help you literally figure out whatever problem you're having with anything. Yeah. There's so many GitHub repositories that might have similar assignments for you yeah. to get inspiration from if you're stuck. So, um, unless you're in first year, where it's a bit intimidating to start with programming yes yeah it takes yeah, yeah but i think the older you get the less of a need yeah i think also i think try bank on online resources more than yeah. the actual physical book yeah because those books don't be making sense yeah and they're, they're like 600 pages <laughs> of nothing and they just scare you when there's someone who could tell you on youtube, YouTube what to do, do it. YouTube videos. <laughs> you, Derek Vaness makes really good YouTube videos on like data structures and all that stuff.